Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here, and today we're going to be doing a quick little review on, well actually, the first airsoft gun I ever bought. Now it's not the official first one I ever bought, as the first one I got was sent to Redbeard before I got a chance to ever do a review on it, because I thought I did and totally didn't. So, what happened was Redbeard needed a second one of these guns, and this gun is the Mark 23, the H&K, Desdic 45 caliber model, and a, all in all, pretty much a gun and a half, as far as handguns go. Price is looking to be in the $100, $100 range, so about 10,000 yen or so, but we're going to take the suppressor off. Now the key thing about this gun is actually the suppressor. This is a non-blowback gas gun. There's a little suppressor thread there, and this light also comes off if you unscrew this little peg here. But yeah, so it's actually relatively loud without the suppressor, and the suppressor actually does a fantastic job at keeping the gun quiet. Meaning you can climb into a bush, and with only this gun and a suppressor, you can go and drop people and they'll never hear the gun fire. They'll just start catching BBs, which is fantastic, quieter than an electric gun even. So with all that being said, we've got the gun mechanism here. I actually got the camera down here because we've got a target we're gonna be shooting. So you got your hammer, which locks back. Your safety here, which can only be engaged when the hammer is locked back. And you've got your slide catch, although the slide shouldn't be moving at all. It's if you want to. And let's see if we actually pull the slide back there. See, there's a little um, closed chamber so you can fire the BB. I will pull the hammer back, and yeah. So it's a pretty simple gun, all together. Makes a little noise when you're not using it. You can put batteries in here, I'll turn on a small light that's actually with the thumb here. And you can turn on the power off and on from here, and then you can do a little switch, or you can lock it to the side to keep the light going. And I'll also turn on a little red LED here for a fake infrared laser. So, kind of cool. This is the first gun I bought, although mine was used. This one's still brand new. I just uh, greased it up a bit, so it should run just fine. Incredibly lightweight, all polymer. No, I don't think there's any metal. There's a bit of metal. I mean, small pieces, but nothing too crazy. And yeah, so all in all, simple, cheap, and effective gun. Now, if you do unscrew this, it comes off pretty quick. Slide that a few times, and boom. You now just have a simple gun. And this is your little light mechanism. Pretty simple, forward to the point. This part just slides off, your batteries go in there. Slide that back on, you can swap it out with other lights if you so desire. But yeah, screw that back in real quick. Let's see if I can get this to, I think this should just slide. Yep, and you can put your batteries in there. There's a battery release little tab here. And it takes three AA. So there you go, three AA, and you're all set. Go back on properly. Don't do this. It's trying to embarrass me, embarrass me on the infinites. So that goes in there, and that closes, boom. So that's all you got. Now, for the purpose of this demonstration, you're gonna be firing without the suppressor first, so you know how loud it is. And this is your magazine, standard double stack, holds 28 BBs, counted it earlier. So, with that in mind, all you do is insert said magazine, and you're right, that adds the majority of the weight to the gun. Now, that being said, we got a target right here. We're gonna put a few rounds center mass, and you can see how loud it is. Okay, so you can see the gun has a bit of a crack to it, and we are indoors, so it's even a bit more amplified. We're gonna take our little suppressor here. We're actually gonna screw that on counterclockwise. And now we have the true purpose of this firearm. Absolutely silence, especially over a distance and with ambient noise. Gun that's going to do some damage with high accuracy. Again, Tokyo Maruri. So we're not shooting all that far of a distance, but mind you, it's far more impressive in the field. Let's go. And it makes just a normal thunk when it's out of BBs. So, that's all there is to it. Goes through the whole mag, no issues, and gun works fantastic. You got your little marks on here, HK, and all that good stuff. Textured grip, front all spiky. And yeah, your mag release is gonna be these two tabs up here in the front, much like a uh, MP7, so again, H and K. So, that's all there really is to this gun. Very simple, very sweet, very to the point. Absolutely fantastic. Now getting a holster for it is really where your trouble is going to come. You're probably going to end up using a more old school, classic holster to event to prevent the magazine release from releasing. So, fantastic, quiet, 28 round gun of death for your entertainment. So, 
you're going on those stealth missions and you simply cannot be heard, this is going to be my recommendation. Every other gun's just going to be sufficiently louder, per se. So, there you have it, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this little review. If you've been interested in a Mark 23, that's more or less how it works. Cheers, everyone. Stay chivalrous.